So putting this together, what does it mean? Well, this is from research that I did a while ago with the Center for Community Change, a wonderful DC-based national organization that organizes in um, low-income communities of color, immigrant communities across the country. And what you'll see when I hit go is lines moving across your screen. For those of you who've ever watched the debates on CNN, that's what this is, it's dial testing. People dial up when they're in agreement and feel warmly toward the message. They dial the other direction when they feel the opposite. The lines correspond in blue to the base. These are people who agreed with us at the get-go. This was a study on perceptions of poverty. The persuadables are, as the name suggests, they were the people in the middle. The opposition. I'm going to talk a lot more about this later. The opposition, and I want to underscore this a lot, are not the Republicans in the sample. In a nationally representative sample, that's 40%. The opposition in the studies that I do is anywhere between 12 and 15%. These are the people who can never, shall never, will never agree with you. I'm going to come back to them. So we actually want to see them dialing down. And then finally, the activists. That's a separate sample from the nationally representative sample that the other lines come from. That's people who do this for a living, who are economic justice advocates, because inherent in the methodology that I apply is if your words don't spread, they don't work. And if the activists won't carry the message, it's not going to get heard. And so you can either be crying about how getting progressives on messages like hurting cats, or you can make sure your messages are catnip from the get-go. They may drive you crazy, but everyone knows family comes first. Whether it's for that newborn you swear already smiles, your elderly mom, or your spouse who got laid off, providing for your family and being there when they need you isn't negotiable. Every working parent should get paid enough to care for their kids and set them off toward a great future. If politicians want to talk family values, it's time they start valuing families. And that means making sure America's dedicated strivers and builders make ends meet. We work in order to make the future brighter for our kids and more secure for our families. Hardworking Americans deserve to make more than a decent living. They deserve to have a decent life. Anything you notice about that? Did you notice when they started leaving us? Yeah. That was like the word every family. Every working parent deserves to be paid enough to set their kid off on a great future. That's when they start leaving. Who knew that that was the communist manifesto? <laughs> so what we know is that it's those points where 85% of a nationally representative population is like, yeah, that's fine, sure, no problem. But you have this 15% being like, that's terrible. That's what makes them look like outliers. That's where we know we're having the fight on our terms, not their terms. When instead we dial things like, this will grow the economy, they're dialing up. We're not having a fight with them, right? We're reaffirming their fight. And you'll see that in a moment. This I just couldn't, I, this is a bit of an aside, but it was just too good not to um, include. In this particular test, we don't always do this. We sometimes do messenger testing. You heard um, the right-hand version of this, the woman of color voice. Uh, notice how the exact same words verbatim spoken by a white male, the opposition is much more keen on, right? So they tell you they can't see race, but they sure can't hear it. <laughs> and you can see that the base is, interestingly, also um, slightly more, but that's within the margin of error. And normally when we test this, actually, um, the base tends to favor the non-white male voice. The persuadables don't care. Um, the activists obviously prefer the woman of color. And yeah, it's the opposition that's really affected by the messenger difference. <laughs> 